Well, this is very exciting. I've been provided access to the Elven Realm pack by Cinti Studios. This is their brand new pack. It's currently on sale for, I think, 20% off, I believe. This discount is just a launch discount, so it's not going to be around forever. You can see it's currently £135, but it will be going up to £169. Currently, it's just available for Unity with Unreal Engine coming soon, but it looks like a really fantastic pack. You get over 700 unique assets, including module building systems, cliffs, waterfalls, and it includes a detailed demo scene, which we're going to explore in today's video. So just so we can take a look at what's fully in this pack, let's just have a look at the trailer, shall we? Okay, I really like the the big grand bridge. And you've got the like wizard's tower over there. Lots of cool looking characters. All the characters are set up to be working with uh, Mechanim. They're not actually animated and there's no animations in the pack. But you know, with things like Mixamo and other uh, animation packs on the asset store, you should just be able to use them and retarget them to the Cinti packs. Let's just turn that down a little bit, it's quite loud. Okay, so there's some boats, nice dock area. Some nice magic uh, VFX. The waterfall. Okay, this is looking this is looking very nice. I wonder if this was filmed in Unity or if this was filmed in Unreal. It looks very crisp and clean. I like that little telescope. Bit of a observatory type, uh, some sort of solar system. Okay, I'm excited to dive into this. I've not actually opened up the pack and had a proper look. I've just imported it and set it up with URP, but we'll dive into it now. Very good, right, let's uh, dive into it. So we've got the demo scene open here. Uh, like I said, I've not actually explored in it yet. We've just opened it up. I imported this into a brand new Unity project that was uh, based on the first person template, which is the free Unity provided first person template. Um, so let's find a place to start exploring. I guess we start at the bottom and work our way up. I don't know if it's fully traversable from top to bottom, but we can always uh, come out and fly around. This dock area seems like a nice place to start. So let's have a look. We've got um, these things that we can drag out. And I believe, actually, I think we have to drag in the nested prefab and then unpack that in this scene. Um, Prefab, unpack completely. Yeah, and then we can drag those out. And then where's the player capsule? Okay, the player capsule is over there. So how can I, uh, let's bring this down. Oh. Give us some nice bits uh, under the water, some nice details there. Yeah, these, they are very detailed, the demo scenes. I really like them. Um, right, let's... Ooh. Okay, uh, some tweaks I want to make quickly. I need to get rid of the main camera that's already in the scene. I'm going to increase the field of view of the actual... Um, First person camera, because 40 is just way too uh, small. Let's try 65. I'm going to get rid of the UI canvas, because I don't want the buttons, uh, the mobile buttons on there. And then we can just play maximized. And let's take a look at the Cinti pack. Okay, here we are. Um, oh, hang on. I want to make that. There we go. 4K. Right. This is the. Cinti Pack Elven Realms, uh, kind of a first look. Our little first person controller here. Um, and you can see that, you know, 
everything is already set up with collisions and um, all of the kind of like meshes are not falling through anything even these kind of ropes and stuff so they are just drag and drop into your project i mean you know add some gameplay to this scene you've already got a nice scene or uh, set up already um i wonder if there's any characters around the scene Oh, I like those those candlesticks have quite a nice texture on them. Got all the vases, vases, whatever, vessels. Okay, this first person controller as well, it's set up to, uh, you know, look around with the mouse, used WAS to move around, space to jump, and you can also sprint by holding down shift as well. Some crowns, some cool looking books, some potions. Can we go up the stairs? Yeah, we probably could. I think my capsule uh, collision's a bit too tall. Oh, I was walking on the bottom of the stairs, I just couldn't fit through that gap. We've got some nice plants as well. Collision's not on them, obviously, so we can walk through those. Ooh, I want to go in there. Very cool in there. Obviously, there's no gameplay uh, set up with this, so, you know, can't open doors, but all the buildings are fully enterable, it looks like, if you wanted to just, you know, copy and paste them into your own project. Oh, nice little portal kind of looking thing down there, one here as well. That'd have been cool if you could go through that and then it'd ping you out there but again no gameplay you could easily uh, make that script yourself does the water have a collision on it no okay so I'm gonna have to pop out here find my player bean Maybe it'd be easier just to fly around and pretend we're in first person mode. Ah, that didn't save. Oh, I think that's just the. Right, tell you what. <clears throat> Can it a bit more complicated than it needs to be? So let's just full screen the scene. Let's just have a fly around. We'll turn off gizmos so it looks like we're in the game. And now just pretend I'm in first person mode. Uh, but this also now I have the ability to fly. So cool boats. You could make some sort of uh, ship sailing uh, game with that. Oh, oh no. Oh, I've messed it up. Ruined everything. I unselect. How do you can you deselect something in Unity? I've not used Unity in a while. There we go. Click in the content browser. All right. Uh, I'm a bit lost now. Right. So that was that kind of base level. Um, another portal up here. Let's go up these stairs. Out this, uh, I'm just flying past loads of stuff now. It's a cool little like a uh, incense burner. That looks really nice. Got this tower. Okay, there's no doors on this, so I can enter it. Although now I've essentially just turned on God mode, um, so I can fly through everything. Nice mirror. Oh, that bed looks comfy. All right, let's uh, go up the stairs. So are they magical floating goblets, or have they just not been placed properly? Let's go with uh, magical floating goblets. Ooh, we can go out onto the balcony and look up at the, the kind of tower over there. Bit the aurora looks very nice. Rid of the grid. Oh, beautiful. Okay, where next? Um, 
started at the dock up here. Uh, let's go up to this area, I suppose. And now, with the power of God mode, let's see what is behind door number one. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay. A little armory. So you've got all these helmets if you wanted to make a uh, RPG kind of game. We've already got helmets for gear. Uh, more plants. It's cool. Statue. Hm. Very cool. And what have we got up the staircase? Ah, this is the telescope from the, the trailer. And it's even been positioned looking out to the the two moons in the sky and the aurora. It's very nice. Right, okay, I can't contain myself any longer. Let's fly over to this cool tower and the bridge. Oh, it's like some sort of portal, portal room. I like that. out here we've got the uh, just slow pan through here. You end up picking up speed in unity it kind of accelerates got this cool almost like world of warcraft style cart that looks very nice the big stone statues kind of there as well i mean this just is so detailed. There's so much going on. Really like that tree. Um, again, all these pieces are modular, so you can, you know, chop and change these and make your own kind of thing. Um, you know, you could repurpose this tower, make it massive if you really wanted to. Keep it going up and up and up. With a helmet there. Someone's left there. A helmet. Out a horn, keeping a lookout for uh, you know advancing armies. We've got a nice cool fountain here. Huh. I like that. Some sort of water mage with uh, in the source of the fountain. Very cool. Okay, now we've got this amazing little castle. Let's have a look inside. Oh, I like the little potted bonsai tree. Very nice. The really shiny, reflective gold statues. Cool. I think this is an oratory. I may have got that wrong. Like a planetarium, essentially. Very cool. Chandelier and go up through the floor. More statues. Okay, I think they're just floating cups. I think we were right. Oh. You just want to, like, have a game set here and fully explore it with NPCs to talk to and quests to go on. Very nice. This is using URP, by the way. Um, so it's set up with the standard render pipeline, but you can also use it with the universal render pipelines. So you get the kind of URP features. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a good look at this, uh, the scene, the demo scene. We dig into the pack a little bit more as well. Let, let's have a look at some of the individual assets, shall we? So we can go, oh, no. Uh, Close the console, we don't need that. Drag up the project. So, in our Polygon Elven Realms, so in scenes, we've got the demo scene. That's where we are now. And we've got prefabs. And let's have a look at some of the characters. We've got a, an Elven Lady. Male kind of rogue. Princely soldier. Is that a king? Knight. 
noble priestess, queen, rogue, female, scholar. These are just the bases, obviously. There's lots of different attachments to kind of customize your, your own character uh, with stuff is rigged as well. Um, so that's just some of the base characters. We've got vehicles, what have we got? So we've got the boats. Cart, a more simple cart. Props. You can see very quickly how much stuff is in here for you to just kind of mix and match and make up your own your own scenes. Like that whole demo scene was used was made using these props, so um, you've got a very good selection of stuff here. And it pairs well with their other packs as well. For example, this would fit in with their uh, their Fantasy Kingdom pack. I think we recommend it going with. You might have seen our recent uh, collab video we did, which uh, if not, I'll link it up above. But that included, um, you know, we took a Cinti asset pack. It was a sci-fi pack. And we made six games using it. If you do want to see the variety you can get out of one pack, uh, definitely watch that video. But yeah, you can see that this is a very cool, uh, cool looking pack. And again, it's currently available on discount uh, for a launch discount. And again, that's not going to stay around for long. It will go up to um, $165 or 199 USD. Currently 159 USD or 132 pounds. Currently it's just available for Unity, but you will be able to use it with Unreal Engine. Um, I'll have links to this pack and the Cinti store in the description below. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.